Hi everyone, this is Stephanie with By the Shore Paper Crafts with your next project. And this one's going to be a little treat holder basket. So what I'm using today is a piece of 12 by 12 designer series paper from the Heart, Woman and Hugs designer series paper pack. And you can um, make this basket any size you want as long as it is a square. So you can make it a 10 by 10, an 8 by 8. It's just going to be smaller. So um, let's get started. What I'm going to do first is you want to decide which pattern you want on the outside. So I want the stripes on the outside. So I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to fold end to end. And I'm just going to line up my edges. And I'm going to use my bone folder and push, and push that down and I'm going to turn it and do it the other way. I'm just going to line my edges up. So this is like an origami box because you're folding it in different directions. Okay, so what I'm going to do at this point, I have my square. You can see, um, if I turn it a certain way, you see my creases. So I'm going to take my corners and I'm going to have the points touch in the middle. Okay. I'm going to do that for all four corners. And you can make this for any holiday, any occasion. And you can make it for um, parties, birthday parties. You can put um, you know, candies in. You can make them for baby showers, wedding shower, you know, bridal showers, and you know, put little treats on them and you know use this as table favors okay so now i have another square and i have these little triangle flaps okay so what i'm going to do at this point is take i want to make sure i go over my creases one last time to make sure they're super flat okay so i'm going to take one edge and i'm going to Bring it to the middle. I'm going to crease that down. I'm going to take the other side and do the same where it meets in the middle. Okay, I'm going to open that back up. Okay, and I'm going to do it to the other side. So now we have um, our box, or the start of our box. We're done folding. Okay, so I want to open it up and then fold two sides in. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is so where this corner is, I'm going to bring. So where this middle square is, I'm going to bring these corners in and I'm just going to fold along again to make it, it's, once you push them in, they'll want to go in, but I'm just burnishing them down so it's a little bit easier. So then I'm going to take this and fold this over just like that, okay? Um, what I want to do, you don't have to do this, but let me show you before I start folding them all over again. So I'm going to take my adhesive and right here at the tip, I'm going to put adhesive on all four of my 
little points. So I'm going to do that real quick, okay, before I get all of these down, okay. So I'm going to bring these two in. I've brought these corners in, and then I'm just going to fold that over, and I'm just going to push that down. Okay, I'm going to flip this over, and I'm going to do the same. So there is a diagonal fold because of all the folds we made. So if I push it in, it'll come in. But I just like to make sure, and you can use your fingernails for this too to go over those. And remember we've put adhesive on the tip right here. So I'm gonna fold this over. And then push that down. So you can, you don't have to um, put adhesive on those tips, but it just makes it so that it doesn't come up. So I'll show you another little box that I made. So I made this one using the Poinsettia Petals Designer Series paper. I didn't put this one, I didn't seal it down, but you see that the box stays down on its own. You can also put a little square of cardstock or you know, if you have another sheet of the same design or a different design, you can put another square to reinforce the bottom if you like. But this just shows off the paper the way it is. Okay, so I've taken a piece of cardstock that is one and a quarter by 11. And I'm going to take my bone folder and I'm lightly just going to go along the inside to where it gives it that curl, kind of like your curling ribbon. So it just gives it that curve. So I'm going to take my stamp and seal plus since this is cardstock and I want this to really stick. So I'm gonna, just going to take a couple of strips of adhesive on either end. And I want to use our stamp, our new stamping seal is really strong. It's stronger than the snail used to be. Um, but I like to use the Stampin' Seal Plus more for 3D projects. This is really sticky and tacky on its own, but just to give it extra reinforcement, I like to use the Stampin' Seal Plus for 3D projects. Okay, so I want to stick this kind of eyeball where the center is and then put that down just like that and then I have my little treat basket so let me fill it up real quick so let me see what treats I have I have some little Hershey kisses so I'm going to fill these up. So you can put, you know, different wrapped candies. You can put, um, you know, little gifts in here. You can you know, give these, you know, as little packaging gifts. Table favors, you can just have your box on the table without the handle. And you can fill it up with different treats. So, um, you can do de different decorations. You could even put, um, since this is a one inch, one and a quarter inch strip, you could do like a one inch strip of designer series paper of the same design and decorate this as well. There's all sorts of different possibilities for this. So I hope you enjoyed this um, project and stay tuned for the next one. Bye.